and welcome to Weeby Kids. In this session, we are going to be looking at how to wrap rocks with other objects. So, as you can see here, we have wrapped a piece of slate with a beautiful piece of hazel and we have wrapped it in some simple household cotton string. Now, just so you know, although this may look really complicated, Actually, like most things, if you can give it a little bit of time and patience, it's not actually that difficult. It is certainly something you can do with a child together and take your time with it. There's no rush. Perhaps they may need a little bit of guidance when it comes to the crisscrossing and going over two and then wrapping back through. Um, but if you work on a larger scale to begin with, a bit like this one, it can be quite easy. Now. Just so you also know, it can also be done with lots of other objects too. You do not have to just wrap rocks. This is a piece of old pottery clay with a disc of wood and this is done with some natural wool. So there are lots and lots of different options. If you wanna look into the history of it, it has its history in Zen and mindfulness and samurai. It's all very exciting when you look back into it and there are many, many techniques. So this is just one that you can have a go at. It's fairly simple. If you don't wanna do the crisscross and you just wanna stop at the end once you've done the wrap, just take your piece round to the back and tie off. So I hope that you enjoy this tutorial and we'll see you at the end. If you want to stop at this point, this is absolutely fine. Take your string, take it round to the back, pull through the thread along the back and just tie off your ends and snip, snip, snip. It's okay, you don't have to do the crisscross pattern if you're happy with just the wrap. Sometimes you just gotta do what feels right for you. If you want to continue and find out the slightly more complex crisscross thing, 
That looks really funky. Stay here. I really hope there was enough instruction in that tutorial. Remember, if you need to slow it down, press pause, you can do that at your own leisure. Um, this is entirely doable with your children. Make sure that you give them time and patience. And it's okay, it doesn't matter if it doesn't look exactly like the one on the picture. You know, the outcomes can vary dramatically and that's all good and well. It'd be very boring if we all created the same thing. So just so you know, yes, you can create them with lots of different materials. Don't feel that you have to um, use the ones that I've used. The reason I like to do them with natural materials is that it's a really lovely alternative to painting stones, for instance. That lovely idea where you can leave something out in the wild, out in the park, and somebody else can come along and find it and take that home with them, love it and appreciate it, or keep it for a while and then pass it on again. Now the joy of doing this lovely thing is that it is entirely natural. So it's slate, it's hazelwood and it's cotton. 
So all of those things will break down in the environment and will not cause any harm to plants or animals should they come across them. So I would love, truly love to see outcomes if people go and have a go at making these. And as I say, remember, it doesn't have to be as big as this one. Um, but finding something that's quite wide initially is something easier to work with, but it doesn't have to be quite this big. And you know, you can always do something where you're only wrapping something small, a few wraps at a time. It's a great place to start. And somebody out there is gonna be finding this one out on a wall, on a walk, and I hope that it brings them much love. So take care and bye from Weeby Kids. See you next time.